close your eyes and watch your breath. And after you've watched the first breath, then you watch the second, and then the third, and then the fourth. Just keep at it. You may have heard of all the good results that come from meditation, and sometimes they don't show themselves right away. It takes a while to settle in, so you've got to be patient. Patient doesn't mean you give up. It means that you just keep at it, but you don't get upset that the results aren't coming as fast as you want. There are some things in the world that get done through impatience, but there's a lot that gets done through patience, and sometimes impatience can actually spoil things. There's a story in the canon of an old Brahmin who has a young wife, and she's pregnant. He's, he's so happy that she's pregnant that he buys a monkey for the child to be. And she says, well, she'd like to have it dyed in pink if it's going to be a girl, and blue if it's going to be a boy. Interesting. Way back then, it was still pink for girls and blue for boys. And the question is, okay, which was it going to be? So she takes a knife and she opens up her belly. Of course, that kills the child. She couldn't wait for the nine months. So there's some things that get spoiled when you get impatient. But this doesn't mean you give up. It means you just simply accept the fact that it's going to take time and you keep at it persistently. That way the things that take time will get done and they won't get spoiled in the meantime. That doesn't mean that you're a doorman. It doesn't mean the things don't take, get done. They do get done. But they just may take more time than you might have expected. So this is a long-term project here, this practice of training the mind. It requires a lot of patience and a lot of discernment as to when it's time to rush things and when it's time to just watch, see what's going on. You see this with the breath. Sometimes you can focus on the breath and you immediately understand what's needed to make it comfortable. And other times you don't. No matter what you try, long breathing, short breathing, fast, so nothing seems right. That's when you step back and say, okay, let the breath do its own thing. I'm just going to hear, be here to watch it. And things will then settle down. So learn when is the time for patience, when is the time for impatience. And that way you develop your discernment as the mind finally does get to settle down.